is everyone doing today? And by everyone, I mean Froggins. I believe, uh, I believe Floss will be joining us in a bit. You're playing Sticker Game. What is Sticker Game? Enlighten me. I got all prepped for... Are you so Okay. <laughs> yesterday that you can't breed Ditto with Togepi because apparently Togepi is a baby and it won't make eggs so I had to evolve it which took most of my morning. <laughs> I won't be here very long, because at some point I gotta go to bed. That's fine. <laughs> nice to have you regardless. <laughs> I me. just I need to I need to come in on the on the notion of a togepi being a baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a baby. And why like why didn't you expect it to be a baby? Well, I didn't know that the like a small section of Pokemon that are called baby Pokemon made them unable to breed. Because they're just stage one Pokemon, I didn't imagine them being any different than other stage one Pokemon like Bulbasaur. That's fair, but Togepi was the first baby. Yeah, but it's not like I've ever tried to make eggs with Togepi before, so how would I have known? You can't make eggs with Togepi, he is an egg! Execute. He is an egg. You cannot make an egg. You can make eggs with eggs execute. <laughs> That's seeds. He's seeds. No, he's an egg. It is when called make, eggs. When you make eggs with execute, he's a group of eggs, and you steal one that hasn't hatched yet. You steal <laughs> eggs. Pokemon is, Pokemon is not consistent, and that is what confused me. Correct, baby. Kid. Oh, man. But now I know, I guess. Sarah says that's why Digimon makes more sense. I would have hardly call Digimon less complicated than Pokemon. <laughs> the breeding system, Ed. I don't even know what the breeding system is in Digimon. You make two Digimon kiss, I guess? I don't know. I didn't know they had a breeding system. You don't. You don't even make them kiss. They just... They just have an egg. They just are an egg. Where do they come from? Froggins, where do babies come from? Data. <laughs> Get out of here. Just data. Get out of here. <laughs> this jump scare me. <laughs> Scare me to tell me where baby Digimon come from. Yeah, they just come out of like her own files. Yes. That's almost bedtime for him. False. Oh, I said it at the same time. Yeah, it's just corrupt data. <laughs> or not, it doesn't even need to be corrupt, it could just be regulated. Like when you send an email, that's a Digimon end. That's. That's too many Digimon. The cookies that Google keeps? Digimon eggs. 
by spamming nails. Digimon X. That's good. Probably virus. Like 50, Probably 50, virus type. I get like like 50 spam emails a day. Someone keeps adding me to lists. I'm sure they Somebody? I mean, like, far be it for me to advertise things that are already being advertised, but Aura did knock a couple of them out of my system. I might get Aura. Because not only you're telling me to, but like 50 of the YouTubers I found. I am They're concerned about sponsored. how much of my personal information it does have, um, just to access those things. Yeah. But those are my credit card information, so yeah. it can't hurt me too much. Sherman, what's the matter with me? So, Sherman cuddled with me so good during my nap today, he was like right in between the nook of my arm, like right where my armpit is. And when I woke up, my arm was numb. Yes. <laughs> I lost all the feeling in my arm because Sherman was laying on it. Sherman, no. He didn't mean to, he was just cuddling too good. But like, you need that circulation, isn't it? Isn't it healing? Doesn't it actually need it? It's the other arm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Switch over to the other three, and it'll give me fucking supported. And that gets misaligned. Alright, so we got one egg right there. Give, give, give me egg. Give it. Let's fucking go, baby! We're after a blue chunk Yes, Sherman. Jump up. Oh, do I not have the pillow? Do you need me to have the pillow for you to jump up? Give me a second. and his brain are turning slowly. There are gears in there? One or two. They're very rusty. Okay. It was, ah, ow. <laughs> he just clawed my tits. But he's up. Oh. Sweet boy. I know you do not mean to do that, but that fucking hurt. <laughs> Need to go on the desk. Whoops. Yes, he does. No, he does not need that. He does not need that. He does not need that. He does. Sweet boy. Oh, here is a um, a fun homeowner update. Um, shouldn't stop. <laughs> um, yesterday, I went into my bathroom that's right beside my bedroom, and there was water all over the floor. And I was like, huh, that's kind of funny. I showered way earlier today, and there shouldn't be water on the floor, let alone far away from the tub. And, um, there's water dripping from the vent in my bathroom. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, we just got the entire HVAC unit replaced when we bought the place, so we are under warranty, but it's still like a 
proper, then somebody's gonna oh. come up tomorrow to assess the situation. Yeah, it's still a pain in the ass. Yeah, uh, the drywall on my bathroom ceiling's gonna have to be replaced because there's a big wet stain on it now. Not very pod champ. Viral, that dude. It's okay. Like it sucks, but it's it's definitely the AC. That's the problem, and it's not like a leak in the roof because it didn't rain today and it happened today again. Um, so if it's definitely the air conditioning unit, they are liable to you know, warranty stuff. And if any damage happened because of a faulty unit. They pay for it, allegedly. I hope. I, I hope that that's how it goes for you too, though. Yeah. I can hope I can pray. This game gives me too much control over what I can make in the sticker. Like, in the best way. Oh yeah. I'm putting a radish in an ice cream cone with sprinkles. You should make something with a frog. I have so many frogs. Give me <laughs> some option. frogs. Hang on, hang on. Sarah made one of them was a, a server sticker. <laughs> I saw that one. I'm sending you my personal favorite. I don't know what to say. Oh, beautiful. Calm. <laughs> <laughs> they just give you words, too, to just put on shit, and I'm just like, yeah. Beautiful. And you can't even make, like, full sentences. <laughs> it's vibes only in this bitch. It really is, and I kind of adore it. I learned from this game that there is an ADHD pride flag. Did not know that. Oh, there's a pride flag for everything. Well, that was one I didn't know. <laughs> um, the, 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 I mean, the, so there's also like the joke pride flags, and there's one that's like haunting my brain. It's one that's like, your fave is forklift certified. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, no Sprogatu! <laughs> His own pride flag, and the colors were pretty close to his color scheme too. And I was like, "This is oh, too close I for comfort." I love that. I love that. It's great. We did sure. This is boy. I'm having to like. Bend at a weird angle so I can pet him with my right arm. Cause I can't bend my elbow. He has no idea. No, he doesn't know. He's like, wow, your arm is like weirdly thicker than normal, but that's fine. Taking your sweet ass study. Yes, I got the forklift certified flag. He found it. Yep. <laughs> there it is, man. Beautiful, perfect. I need to put, um, I need to put Nosferatu on it. It's just the hazard colors. I love it so much. <laughs> supposed to have a follow-up appointment with my surgeon team, uh, but I don't know when because nobody's called me yet and my, uh, my wrappings on my arm are starting to unfurl a little bit and I'm like, 
This is a problem. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't seem normal. Well, it's just like from normal laying down and sitting idly and then very gentle rubbing against my shirt, it's just starting to undo and I'm like Can somebody call me please? I tried to call them myself today, but I was just slightly too late for their call center. Oh damn. Oh, you know it's like the loss in like pressure or anything? No, not yet. First aid. Come on, no Greg. Nope. I'll never expect it on the first day. Just a regular egg. It yep. should just be regular egg. Yeah. Yeah. My keyboard. There we go. I'm gonna be hatching these eggs faster than they're being made, oh no. That is how it is sometimes. Oopsie. I think after Togepi, I'll do Stampler, but I have to go catch one, because I haven't done that yet. That's fine, I know where they are. Oh, they're perfect. I love Stampler. Please give me egg, I have one left. Y'all are slacking. They're very confused. <laughs> oh, um, I added something to my Balls. soundboard. Balls. I added something to my soundboard. I think, I think you, I think you should look at it, look at it. I'm immediately going in, but I don't remember which sounds are attached to which boards, or which ones have always been there. <laughs> well, I think they just get added at the bottom, don't they? Yeah, I think so. Hi! You're back. Oh, shit! Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love this person. That one was great. I love Sarah with all of my heart. I'm so happy cool. for you. Combining those two soundboard things on accident, on accident was really funny. It was really good. Yeah, we got we got Kit. That's for <laughs> all the wine <laughs> booms. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I saw that. You can't get me. Hatch it in. That's fine, we're just getting started. Also... Oh, that's, that's right, Tokyo Peach Shiny is a little color as well. Yeah. Also, um... They are taking a while to produce eggs, so I'm hoping that's not gonna be a recurring thing. Because I'm out of eggs now! What if it's just Tokyo That'd be great, wouldn't it? I can't make that many eggs. I'm part egg. It's taking too much of my nutrient. Togepi says it's too much work. It's too much. Oops. Ever. Unfortunately, there is no trick to make the mega eggs faster. Mm 
Get more. And um, so every time I see her with Teddy Grahams, I'm just like, I want, I want the Teddy Graham. You're so valid. I'm saying words. I'm saying words. Are you coming back? Okay, there we go. So I think I found out that the fix for it is to just click the caption sections on OBS and nothing else. I don't know why that fixes it, but it does. What matters is that it does. Yes. Jesus Christ, where are the eggs? Damn, if this goes on much longer, I might have to switch Pokemon. I don't know what their problem is. I don't want to switch Pokemon, though I put a lot of effort into evolving Togepi. Sarah. Are you cooking them? Cooking all the Zelda pee. Ah, ah. Oh lord. What is happening?
Well, I completed the story in the game. Uh. I already beat the game. Oh. <laughs> it's not long, and I don't think it's mad too. It's very, uh, it reminds me a lot of unpacking. Where you nice. just, like, do, like, little tasks and have a little life. But in this case, like, your, your, your customers, like, tell you little stories that they're going through. Uh. Bruh. Oh man, you drive me crazy. This is not normal. Nah. At this point, it's supposed to be like a coin toss. On if there's an egg or not, every time I leave the route and come back. So the fact that it's still not getting an egg is very weird. I think I'm gonna blame my cursed topics on this. <laughs> Did you transfer them to this game? Oh, they very. The hoppets are from this game. Oh, okay. Yeah, they are. Uh, they are stuck in a wood box, and I'm not gonna touch them. They it's scare probably, me. It's probably for the best. Yeah. But who knows what they plot now? Nope. And there's two of them because one of them got cloned. Um. <laughs> It was originally one hoppin, but then I split some atoms and bad things happened. And I named the hoppin Headbutt, because it was the Pokemon that I used for the move Headbutt. It only knows Headbutt. Uh, yeah. Twice, if I recall. No, that's actually just the two hoppins in the box, that's just their names. Oh, okay. I think it goes Splash too. <laughs> and the worst part is Hoppet is a Pokemon that I want to shiny hunt. And it's on my list for this game. But I have to like, go catch a different Hoppet. <laughs> Look, hey, you, your Hoppets are corrupt. You can't use them. They can't be trusted. Absolutely not. They are too dangerous. Dude, where are my eggs? Are my Pokemon mad at each other all of a sudden? That doesn't seem right. That's not a thing that happens. Yeah, it's fine! That would be- I would be alarmed. That my game is cruel- that truly corrupt. outside of sound alerts because I want to have, like, the oh shit, a rat guy, where at the end of the video he, like, drop kicks the camera. <laughs> oh my God. I just want to have it full screen, him drop kicking. No egg. 
Jesus. What is up? Uh, what the fuck is up, Kyle? This is so weird. But yeah, I made two eggs, and if you don't get a shiny in those two, that's not my problem. Oh, good. You son of a bitch. Spoiler, he's been keeping all of the token eggs. What does he want with them? He's been waiting for you to get mad. I, I was mad already. <laughs> This when I napped. And yeah. today my sleep paralysis demon was my mom. Oh no. I'm like, you can't just do that. Rude. See, the sleep paralysis demon heard about your uh, theories and was like, I know how to fix this. <laughs> Also, my fire transition that happens between Twitch scenes, um, it keeps breaking, and I don't know what's wrong. OBS had an update or something, and it doesn't work right. That's kind of funny, I'm really sorry. It is funny. It's funny every time it happens, I just don't know why it happens. a funny thing, um, the day that I went into surgery, a friend of mine was also going into surgery at the exact same time, but like in a different place, of course. He was getting, uh, like, did y'all meet up in the waiting room? That was <laughs> no, he's in a different state, but, uh, my appointment time started at 6.30 and it started at 7, so we were both knocked out around the same time and woke up around the same time. I wonder if you guys had a shared dream that you don't remember or something that'd be cute. <laughs> it was completely different procedures, but it's still like, wow! That's weird. Just, just a little, just a little. Okay. No egg for me. Good lord. When I'm a little bit less, like, uncomfortable in my drawing arm, I'll probably start doing Undertale streams. Um, it's just like, it's, 
It's not in pain, but it's uncomfortable enough to where it's hard for me to focus on things. Yeah, okay. So that's why I haven't started any, like, actual story games or anything. <laughs> And this playthrough of Crystal's finished already. Well, like, I haven't fought Red yet. But that's extra. It can wait. I am thinking so hard about Chuck that shit could be. After the fifth egg, I'll probably step away to go get some cookie and milk. Because I deserve it. And I get it, get it. Get Thank you. I'm still not sure what I want to name a shiny Togepi. Fluffs had suggested, like, just spelling Togepi backwards, and I think that's pretty cool, so I might do that. So, what I'm, what I'm hearing is, uh, if you do get the shiny Togepi, we do have to... We do have to hit the oh shit a rap button. We have to what? Oh, no, shit, hold on. What did I No, I Ooh boy. Oh wow. Oh, I don't want to talk about this. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I went to I was reading <laughs> Togepi. <laughs> I was trying to read Togepi and spell it backwards, but I read the word target and was spelling target backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, I'm fucking dumb. I think I'm gonna s- Oh, there's another thing. I think I'm gonna spell target backwards now, actually. <laughs> Tag rat. Tag rat. I think that's- I think that's funnier and perfect. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, I fucked up. Sarah says name it oof, which is just egg in French. <laughs> no, get your own egg. Nope. That's normal egg. That's rat number three. Sometimes you must feed the chaos. Sound effects that we keep using. We got three rat sounds. 
I don't think it's that more. Um, yeah, there's other rat things out there that I could conceive. Um, I have one slot left, though. <laughs> I guess the question is, do you want that to be a rat or not? Maybe. Because, okay, the only rat-related soundbite I can think of is, um, have you seen Gummy Pet Rat? Maybe. I don't know. Goodbye, Pete Rat, and I. Yes. That's the only other thing I can think of that's rap related and funny. Yeah, no, I, I remember that one. <laughs> I remember that one. <laughs> Every time I'm in a candy store and I see those, I go, Who are you, my candy? <laughs> I go to I my miss, I, I miss the uh, pronouncing things incorrectly, Thad. That was really fun. Yeah. to get you cookie. Oh my god, I just turned around to look at them, I need to take a picture. <laughs> Very important that everything stops for a cat picture. I'm gonna put it in the uh, pet stone. They're both hanging out at the small cat tree. Oh. It just bangs. Hey, hey. I love how unhinged your past lighting has become. What? Your your cast, it has become unhinged. Oh yeah. <laughs> how even drew a penis on it, but it at least did it separately. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw that. I just saw creams and like a couple of others that I missed. Those are good. A lot of these are good. I love it. It's not a, like a full cast, though. If it was an actual, uh, if this has to be sawed off cast, I would have, like, had people suggest stickers or something for me to put on it. Like, link me stickers to buy, or mail me stickers, and I'll put it on there. Oh, yeah, that would have been cool. That would have been sick, but I could, I could take this thing off myself if I was reckless. But I'm not stupid. But are you reckless? Not when it comes to the health of my nerve. That's fair. My, uh, oh, another egg. See, now they're any deer and they just had to rev their engines. Uh, my new arm scar is going to be very long. The last one on the elbow was like maybe four inches. Uh, just based on how it stings when I move, it's gonna be way longer than that. Mm -hmm. Which, like, I think, uh, personally, I think that's cool. Uh, so get I'm excited a, get to a see cool, it. Get a cool tattoo to highlight it. I might. But also, I might be concerned about if I ever have to go in for another surgery that the tattoo will get fucked up. So you get a zipper tattoo. That's an option. <laughs> I think you feel like they're unzipping it. <laughs> what if I did, like, um... You know that poster, the Star Wars poster of, um... Like, original poster of Luke holding up the lightsaber and Leia sitting at his feet. And the lightsaber makes, like, a cross in the sky. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if I did that, but the lightsaber was just laid low on this car? <laughs> oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. Not like I need other Star Wars tattoos. I have one, and that was enough. But that's a good idea. It's worth keeping on the back burner. Wow. Alright, focus died. It'll come back on its own. In time. How long? Who knows? was a shuffle that hatched in four eggs. Uh, oh, damn. So we've, we've now passed that threshold. Egg count. Four. That's okay, we can't all be shuffled. Yeah. Maybe one day, though. Maybe. Oh, there's a uh, shiny hunter that I watch sometimes, and he once went after Ho-Ho oh, in this game. Uh, oh no. Yeah. Which is full odds, it's like 1 in 14,000. It's an insane hunt to do. But he got it in 36 encounters. That's oh, one sitting. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, that's, that's almost manageable. That's insanely fast. Like, incomprehensibly fast, he was ready to buckle down for months. And he got it in like an hour. Lucky bastard. Yeah. I'm haunted by it sometimes. I think of him saying, 36? And I'm like, God, I wish that were me. Yeah, I don't have an Emmy to do that kind of shiny hunting. Oh no. I've considered it before. I tried to do it with, uh, Dialga in, uh... One second. That's a lot of fun. Um, I tried to do it with Dialga in, um... Brilliant Diamond, but I immediately got bored. I did it with Verizion. Um... And again, yeah, it took me time before I was done. Yeah. I will say that, um, having it on stream and being able to talk to people during a tedious task like this does help. And maybe one day I'll try Dialga again, but today is not that big. If I can just do the same shit I'm doing right now, I'll just point my camera at it. I'm saving all my best stickers so that I can send them to you guys. Oh, please.
I will get patient until we pass that, that, that threshold. <laughs> oh, I said I was gonna get cookies. At five eggs. You did. I'm gonna do that. You're not on egg six yet, so you still have time. Yeah. I'm gonna spam your collab chat with three little stickers I need. Oh, please do. I'll switch to the VRB screen so you don't have to go crazy in my absence unless you want to. Nah. Yeah.
sorry, no. <laughs> but um, only, I've only been through five eights, so. Mm. Not a lot. But I'm taking a cookie break. Cookie break! And I deserve a little treat. Do do. A little cookie. How are you doing, Fluffs? I'm good! Yeah. Tasty food. What'd you have? Uh, same thing as before. I made, I made a lot of Greek cookies. Oh, yeah. Like the worst. Whoops. Oh. Like cookie. Cookie. How are you doing? I'm cooking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm alright. Um. I wish I got a lot of in my mouth for. <laughs> um. I took a nap earlier. And, um. Uh, Sherman laid down on my good arm, the left one. Oh uh, no. He was like way up against me and he was super cute and I like had my face on him. It was adorable, but when I woke up, my left arm was completely numb. Oh no. He, he, he made my arm fall asleep. Sure. He broke your for you, page. On what? No oh, sure. Sure man. Oh dear. A huge chunk of my cookie just fell into my milk and it made a big splash and there's a mess now. Oh no. Sherman, come help. No, <laughs> Sherman, help. Oh. Sherman just gets blamed for everything. <laughs> he's not here to here. I don't know where he went. Oh, I know where he went. He's, um, trying to eat food in the kitchen. Try, I assume not his food. No. <laughs> it's like the our dirty dishes on the counter, he'll sniff at it and try to lick it, and we're like, no, how about you don't do that? Sherman, how about you you don't do that? Don't do what that. If, what if Sherman did do that? He would get sick. But what if Sherman did do that? <laughs> <laughs> that was full of cookie. Mm. Uh, hi, first time chatter. I sure hope that's not a spam message. Oh. No, it's a joke. Oh. <laughs> Wisely doing that thing where my cookie is wide enough to like sit inside the cup and not fall into the milk. Oh. <laughs> so I'm just letting it soak, but um, sometimes that fails. And I drop things mm -hmm. into the cup. You and that's how big messes cookie. happen. You get what? Like teddy grams? This is why you get like teddy grams or something? That way you can hold them into their little faces and dip them. <laughs> Or you can grab him by the ankle and dip it in there, Achilles style. You know, if you want to waterboard the teddy grams, go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> waterboard the teddy grams. Yes, hi. I am glad to hear you are a real person. That's very encouraging. Alright. I had a uh, I had a spam bot last night. So I was like, oh no! Oh. Yeah, oh no. Yes, I'm fine. I'm doing shiny hunting, but I'm having a cookie break. How are you, Caitlin? So many people playing that, and I'm just like, eh. 
Yeah, I wanna see if I can make something that looks moderately close to what Mo looks like. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, you're, t you're tempting me, game. Stop it. Yeah. I'm so good. And you the got that one man. So you got that one dude. There's this one dude that I'm like, I date him in a heartbeat. <laughs> I was thinking about getting it, and then I saw this sticker game, and I got that instead! <laughs> but it's perfectly valid, and the right choice. <laughs> I'm just not feeling the vibe of, like, playing Butter Spear right now. Mm -hmm. Well, I wouldn't know, I've never played any of them. Yeah, those, those are old. Oh. I don't know if that's unfortunate to me, or a plus to me, and makes me want to play it more. <laughs> I'm not sure I enjoyed the original combat systems, um, I did not, <laughs> but mostly, just mostly because it was chaos. <laughs> I did appreciate how, um, intricate it was and how, like, creative you could be with stuff, but a lot of that was very overwhelming for me, so. Mm. But also, we did try to play with four people on, like, a broken one. That was just, like, a mess. I remember that. I see. Yeah, real-time with pause doesn't really, um, work in a multiplayer hack. It really no. does. I so, like, everybody see, died. I did see a really funny clip from Modern Game 3. That, um, it was somebody who was a dwarf character, and they, like, rolled a dice to see if they could, uh, kick down a door, and they rolled a nat 20, uh -huh. and this tiny little dwarf just kicks a giant set of wood doors, and the doors are just <laughs> What cannot <laughs> hold up to a dwarven engineering? That is true! <sighs> Dwarves are master engineers! They know every element of every item. They could and easily go, kick at this point, door destroyed. <laughs> the sheer knowledge gives them nuclear legs! <laughs> <laughs> nah, if, if, Baldur's, if Baldur's Gate 3 plays more like Divinity Originals, then I think I'd be more inclined to buy it, honestly. Yeah. I think it does, from what I've heard. I watched a video that went over... Yeah. I, I found, the guys who made I found the system to be a good balance of creative and um, not overwhelming for me. Yeah. Like, it was still challenging. I never felt like I was on easy <laughs> mode or anything like that, even when I was playing easy mode. <laughs> I will say that one clip of the dwarf exploding the door um, mm. sold the game to me more than the character creator did, which is really saying something. <laughs> Oh is no, it... I meant, Caleb, I meant it, it did not physically work. Like, it did not actually work. Mm -hmm. I don't mean that if there were a multiplayer, I mean the whatever we were playing, it did not actually work. Like, it would pause one person, The it had to be the person who was hosting the game that paused it. If any of the non-hosting players paused it, it was not a functional system. Yeah. Whoops. Alright, I'm gonna switch back to streaming page. Yeah, streaming time. <laughs> back to eggs. Egg hunting. Also, um, uh, Froggins had an oopsie that I'm running with. I told them that, uh, you suggested maybe the shiny Togepi just Togepi backwards. Yeah. And somehow they ran Target backwards and made a joke about, oh shit, a rat! So now it's gonna be <laughs> they didn't make any sense to anybody but me. Uh, I completely Who thought understood that was it how you realized what happened. <laughs> it didn't make any sense to anybody but me. Ex like, because, like, no, I, I thought Target was the word Togepi. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm tired, I'm... and I'm dyslexic, and I can't read. It's okay. I love now it. it's gonna be named Tegret. Good. I want- I actually, like, that is, like, a massive improvement. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'd probably be more able to play it than Caleb if, if it's like uh, it was closer to Divinity. It's like a split, like it. I get overwhelmed easy though. I recognize that I do not play games on the same level as everybody else. You're valid. 
I can't do competitive gaming for shit because it stresses me out. Or shooters. But I, I genuinely finished Divinity, which surprised me. Wow. I went to go to a second run and I some shit happened in between that and I never got done with that, so. Yeah. <laughs> I did a, a full skeleton romance and I was like, what happens if I uh, what happens if I do other parts of the story differently? <laughs> Trust me, the moment I found out I could kiss the skeleton, I was like, hello? Come here, hello. Come over here! <laughs> you! You! Well, I found this character genuinely entertaining, too. I was like, I was like, being able to kiss the skeleton? A plus. <laughs> this is just a bonus. Hell he was yeah. already fun to hang out with. Beautiful. Oh, plus, we had, like, a weird thing happened earlier where, for some reason, I got two eggs, and then they stopped making eggs for, like, ten minutes. Oh, no! And we're like, where are they? Where, where did they go? Why did they stop? It's because you looked at those hoppets at some point. <laughs> no, I've not touched them. Oop! Come on. How dare you, How dare you upon them. Tag rat. Tag rat. Oh, no. Uh, oh shit! All right. <laughs> <laughs> I really just. <laughs> We've got his new um, his new stem of the night. Oh, What's hey, coming well, in our well, rat. Well, if I got a question for you. Yes. Can you LARP? Do you know where to like? Do you have any recommended shops for like shirts and stuff like that? Um, so there's actually one that blink me a few. I'm trying to hunt down pieces of my wedding costume, so. Oh. Um, no, <laughs> I only... found the bottom half. That's it. Mm. Um, yeah, I'll link you. It's a it's a Canadian business called uh it's a Montreal. Where? Yeah, that's fine. Like, it's fine. It's got easier to ship here. I've got the the card for the one that does our rent fair, but I've also just want to be able to look at multiple stores and price compare and have different options. Mm. Uh, I'll link it to you, and if you type in the code that I'm adding, you get a little bit of a percentage off. <laughs> oh hell yeah! Because that's because our, our LARP uh, is connected with them <laughs> a little. Nice. Yeah, I'll pin that. I'll come back to that later when I'm able to cognizantly show. Mm -hmm. Roggins, can you remind me the dress code? Fancy dress in the British terminology? Dress with costume. Wear a costume. Just a costume? Yeah, wear a costume. Okay. I have not brought my yet, so I'm still deciding. Like, I've obviously got time, but still. Yeah, you're fine. It's just costume. It's funny, we were telling my cousins about it while I was at Renter, and um, they were like, yeah, we got married on Halloween. I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna do the same. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, one of the best parts is um, I will definitely be ready in a year for the wedding, because I LARP. I have costumes. Yeah, you're yeah. set. You're good. You're the question most prepared out of any of us. See, the main question is, who do I go as? Because I have multiple characters. Yep. Are we done today? Whatever you want. Egg. Whoops. Egg, egg, egg. Egg, egg. Come on. Tag, rat, tag, rat, <laughs> tag, rat. No. Oh. Just regular rat. Oh, here we go. Mr. Electric, send him to the principal's office. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love that he just be like a tiny menace. Just appears, makes a declaration, leaves. That's who he is as a person. He's just doing it every time I hatch a big. Oh, I love it. Also, Fluff, I have found, uh... I have found out about baggy linen pants and I am in love. Mm. I have already got some and I'm just wearing them around the house now. Nice. <laughs> uh, oops. Abra. Man, I've run into 
so many hours tonight. I was it just Admiral? Aren't they supposed to be like a rare pop up or a rare pop up? They're like a fifteen percent, I think. So they're definitely not. They shouldn't be popping up like that. <laughs> I've been waiting for a Rattata so I can actually use oh shit a rat appropriately. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> But last night we encountered a bunch of dittos really close together, which is the rarest on this route. So I'm like, okay, there's where all the luck is going where I don't need it to. A bar and he is in the wrong spot. Yep. Gotta wiggle it around a bit. Yeah. If I had, um... Uh, I'll say what I'm gonna say in a second. Egg. Oh, no. Oh, is there is there shenanigans with cats? Oh, oh no egg. Egg. Ah, crap. Yeah. Aw. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Game, I will go my fingers at you. I will <laughs> my finger that we may have a double again like last night. Oh, that would be nice. Um, I won't get upset about this until I pass the 60 threshold, because it's supposed to be 1 in 60 for gods. So, mm. I'm vibing right now. Uh, oh, what I was going to say before that is, um, if I had unlimited funds, I would uh, come to your wedding in full Dracula cosplay. <laughs> <gasps> That'd be amazing. <laughs> but I want it to be like, Good, so like an actual tuxedo and cape and everything, and that's not cheap. Mm. There's someone on Etsy that sells the, uh, like a copy of the Bella Lugosi Dracula tuxedo, like tailored to fit and everything, and it's like, I think it's like $5,000, and I'm like, I, I could never afford that. <laughs> Jesus. Also, I'll be right back for a moment. There's a moth in my room. A moth! Okay. Yeah, I already did the wedding where you buy like one dress and everybody wears a dress that they're only gonna ever wear once. And uh, I'm not doing that again. You guys can bring Halloween costumes, you can go get a from Spirit of Halloween. I don't care. Have fun. <laughs> we'll see what I do. He got away. I have no idea where he is now. <laughs> oh, egg, egg, come on. My aunt and uncle started a social media career, um, in that they have created their own page for their yard skeletons. Oh! <laughs> rats! Where the rats? <laughs> Alright, and that's actually the last day, so what happened earlier is happening. <laughs> oh no! Oh dear! What is up with you oh, two. Oh, yay! One egg. One egg coming on up. Hi! Cream! Hi, Cream. Hi, I'm here to bump up the RNG. <laughs> hey! Give me your power! <laughs> Only a little. You can have a little bit of my power. Give me a little bit of your power! Ah. Yeah, here you go. This is easier when I only have to release one at a time. <laughs> they make eggs so slow. Get out of here. Be gone. Be gone, pot. It's a baby, don't talk to her like that. <laughs> <laughs> If I can give the baby drugs, Fluss can talk to the baby. You like that. can't give the baby drugs. <laughs> yes, I can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. And I, I cannot. Can. Don't give the baby drugs. It's just a bad idea. <laughs> give me my coat up, baby. No, she can have vitamins, but not drugs. Oh. I can literally give it a pill that's called speed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> you could, but you shouldn't. 
Give the baby the zoomies. <laughs> I give, I give Togepi speed, and it just like cartoon style runs through a wall that leaves a perfect cookie cutter imprint in the wall. <laughs> Doing Korean, what's up? Not much, I'm just chilling out. Yeah. Okay. The yeah, situation is salvaged. Whoops, <laughs> that was the wrong button. Hooray, the egg. Yeah, the egg, the egg. Egg, 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 egg. Oh my god, I know what to put in my last soundboard piece. Oh my god. I need the audio clip for Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito saying, can I offer you an egg in this dry time? That's the uh, final one. That's the final one. You need that one. Give me a second. Please find it. <laughs> uh... Alright. I can do this, but it'll take a tiny bit of time. I need to contact my dad. <laughs> okay. Take your time. I like the implication that dad's the one who's got to find it. <laughs> like, if you need to rip a YouTube video, I can do that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I have found the perfect video for this. Okay. It's like exactly five seconds. It should be okay. perfect. Here you go. Alright, we're taking an intermission while I do this. <laughs> it's so important. <laughs> we need this. Alright, it's gonna come through the stream audio. Can I offer you a nice egg in this prime time? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. Also, for uh, legal reasons, I am not ripping a YouTube video. Yeah, that's allegedly. Download a car. <laughs> you wouldn't download a car. You wouldn't download Danny DeVito. <laughs> I absolutely would, and I think you'd be fine with that. Yeah. yeah. No, Alright, I have to put it to my sound effects folder. Alright, here we go. I'm uploading it now. This is the most important stream intermission I've ever had. One slot left, Jesus Christ. Okay, I need a pig. All right, there it is. There it is, there it is. You should all think very hard about this. 
Which I one am, of your characters I am am currently. <laughs> What's the question? Sorry. Uh, I, I said I am of the opinion that every single person should have an OC who sounds like Danny DeVito. Like, that's their voice canon. Voice head canon. So now you need to think of what character of yours sounds like Danny DeVito. So, if I'm gonna be a tiny bit honest here, because in the dragon form it sounds cooler because Echo and all that, I kind of feel like Umber would have Danny yes! DeVito. Yes! I was thinking the same thing! <laughs> I just, I just like narrowed my eyes down at upper full of the screen, and I was like, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That would only make sense. It would. Bean Wizard. Bean Wizard sounds like Ben DeVito. Yeah, yeah, Bean Wizard. <laughs> well, I gotta scroll through my characters real quick on Toy House. This is not the case, but I think it would be funny if I said that Demon Coyote sounded like Danny DeVito. <laughs> just, just to shake things up a little. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's see. Yeah, that's good. Just in case the people that were in the stream when I drew Bean Wizard forgot what Bean Wizard looked like. <laughs> <laughs> That man doesn't just sound like Danny DeVito, he's played by Danny DeVito. Oh my god. Yeah, hold on, I'm gonna have the show of Bean Wizard on screen. There you go. That's Bean oh, Wizard. Oh, I love it Bean Wizard. It sounds like Danny DeVito. Mm. That's Drawn Danny by Froggins. That's yeah. Danny DeVito in a costume. <laughs> uh, he's... He's not my OC, but I do imagine uh, that your OC, Coyote, sounds like Danny DeVito, I gotta be honest. No! <laughs> it's she... the version, it's the, it's the, it's the version in my game. Yes. <laughs> it's honestly just every version no! of Coyote for me. I look at that man and I go, yeah, he could, he looks like he could sound like Danny DeVito. Oh no, you hurt my soul. <laughs> Hey, Danny DeVito is a treasure. No, I know! It just does not fit at all! Really? For me, it fits way too well. You think this man sounds like Danny DeVito? Yeah. I, I think you gotta remember, don't think of it as Danny DeVito playing Coyote, just the voice. It's easy with Umber <laughs> because Danny. he's a bit of a shorter tubby guy in his humanoid form. Danny does have range. Like, let's give him credit. He does. Yeah, he does. D yeah, Danny isn't live action playing Coyote. He's VA role selected for Coyote. I'll yeah. accept that. I wouldn't accept that for every Coyote, but I'll accept that for a handful of them, and I'm trying to decide which ones. Because <laughs> he actually does have a voice claim. Um, he sounds like Entei from the third Pokemon movie, but with a southern accent. He sounds accent. like Dad. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Oh, Sarah. Oh, oh, Sarah. <laughs> it's been doing this all night. Yeah. <laughs> he just joins to whack and leaves. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a different sound every now and then. I think the Danny DeVito voice for Coyote most fits. Um, Demon Slayer Coyote, where he is a house husband. Oh. I can see, I'm, I'm picturing it now. Can I, mean, I offer you a nice egg? <laughs> I mean... Oh, sorry. Okay. I, I was gonna say, the version, your, uh, bull version of Coyote in, uh, in Frog's game could also sound like Danny DeVito 100%. The discount, like, the, the vacuum cleaner salesman Coyote sounds like Danny DeVito. Yeah, that one, he sounds, he is just Danny DeVito's VA. Yes. Yeah, your, your 
Yeah, that coyote oh. is like they asked Danny DeVito to like try and be a bit bassier. The vacuum cleaner coyote is they told him he could just use his regular voice. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's valid. I do think, like, outside of Coyote, the only other character of mine that's immediately coming to mind... Oh, no, no, I do have one! Hold on. The wizard gets to stay there for a second. That's fine, he doesn't know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. <laughs> I think... I know one thing. One thing. <laughs> I think Danny DeVito could voice any one of these three, or all three of them. It looks real. He could vote. He could voice them in the Pokemon like anime as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, all of these three are Danny DeVito coming in. It's just Danny DeVito and different octaves. I love that Danny DeVito coded. <laughs> I was I was almost leaning towards Jimmy, but then I remember Jimmy worked for Danny DeVito, so she can't sound like Danny DeVito. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking where was Danny DeVito? Jimmy could not be Danny DeVito. Yeah, they already like Danny DeVito's already voicing one character in Jimmy's life. She, she can't be Danny DeVito. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my consensus. Wow. No, not really. No, Roy would. He'd be like, he'd be like Danny in like one of his more serious roles, though, wouldn't he? Mm. Um, if you haven't figured one out, I mean, if you have, then ignore this. Ajax, maybe? No, no. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, Ajax is full Southern drawl. Like, I, I will find a voice claim for him, but I always just kind of imagined he sounded more like Matthew McConaughey, unfortunately. Mm. So he's, he's got a little too much Matthew McConaughey in him to be Danny. That was my exact reaction to hearing <laughs> Cream say that. I know it's like Danny DeVito. I'm like, no, it's a southern man. No, Moth. Damn it. Okay, the Moth is back. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to put you in this. Oh, darn it. Oh, they're gone again. <laughs> the Moth literally landed on me, and I was about to say, I'm going to try and catch the Moth. But then the Moth is like, goodbye. The moth heard you. You can't. You can't voice your actions to a moth. Samwise, you're being spot uh, on. It is on the upside. Um, it's not one of the small, skinny little moths we have in the house, which I'm pretty sure are the fabricating ones. I think yes, it's a, they like are. An Confirmed. Yeah. Um, though I don't know what they're eating because nothing that we care about has holes in it. So they're eating dust or something. Your insulation. I mean, our house is pretty good at being warm. In fact, usually it's the opposite. You got I've... curtains? Nope, not fabric curtains. You got blinds? Nope. Oh. I mean, Mike... they... I don't think they eat just clothing. <clears throat> I think they lay their caterpillars on clothing and the caterpillars eat the clothing. But they have such a quick gestation, like a quick, like, pupation period. Like, they aren't caterpillars for very long. Mm-hmm. Um, we once had something come into the store and it was a plastic toy and then two days later a moth flies out of it and my co-workers freak the fuck out and decide that it's infested. But that's not how moths work. Yeah, also, like, the moth I'm seeing is a big wide-winged one, which I'm pretty sure is harmless and just got into the house because of, like, when I was barbecuing. I kept meaning to grab that little Star Wars toy, because if nobody's going to sell it and we've already cashed it, if we've already marked it out, I might as well just bring it back and try to figure out how to mail it off to Nat. Mm -hmm. oh but it's yes. gone now. Uh, I don't know where it went, but it's gone. Mm -hmm. Egg. 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 Railroad track egg. Woo! <laughs> uh, oh, hello. Oh, we're getting ready. No. No. Don't do it. No. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> the actual sound. Yeah. Just the suspense. <laughs> I, I, I will say there is a potential the moths are eating something, or like they're, whatever they're using, it's something that is so old and we don't care about that it's like, you know what, whatever. And I haven't actually seen them in a while, so maybe whatever they've been relying on is like on low number or something. I don't even think, I think it takes them a while to eat holes into things anyway. Like, I don't think it happens within the first generation or anything like that. Like, 
Like it takes a little while. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, because I thought I thought moths were eating holes in my shirt, and then I found out it was the counter at work. <laughs> the counter at work was destroyed your shirt. Yeah, it's like uh, we had a couple of fabric moths, but they're gone now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure because we've had them for a while now, but nothing has had a hole in it. So I'm pretty and like I've never seen them on my clothes. Like they're not hanging on my clothes. They're not hanging on my toys. Like there's nothing that they don't. They don't really. That's the weird part. It's like they don't. You don't really notice them until they're moths, and then like or something important gets damaged. But by that point in time, it's been several generations of moth. The thing is, though, it likely has been several generations of moth in our house. So it whatever... might just be, like, nibbling on blankies. Is there a housemates? Uh, wait, they housemates? They're paying rent. Uh, just my... <laughs> the moths I mean... are paying rent. <laughs> I mean, on it, honestly, if because there is like we, we do have parts of the house that are dusty because we are still kind of slowly trying to organize yeah so i could see them feeding off of some of the stuff there the like fabric like old like linted fabric and stuff that i've collected which i mean at that point it's like you know what go nuts you're not really being a problem and i actually actually their numbers have dropped significantly for the past while i've only seen like one or two on the odd occasion Nothing. I think I you'll, probably, out. you'll probably see him again from spring. Uh, last time they're usually pretty, like, common in the summer for me, not spring. Just a normal Greg. Oh, I didn't know what Greg. the normal cycle was for you guys. Um, mm -hmm. back home it was spring. Or back in Virginia it was spring, so. No, it's summer for us, uh. But, yeah, no, I mean, again, they haven't caused any problems. They've been here for like a while, like not not just like a year or two, like a few years, and like they occasionally show up. So at this point, if whatever they're feeding on, my dad and I generally do not care, and we likely won't if we ever find something with like a bunch of holes. I've just accepted that they're a part of life because I live in a store that sells clothing, so you know whatever. Yeah, it is what it is. As long as you're not, as long as you're not legit, if you're not like. I'm pooping all over, like, all over your food, bug, or I'm, like, creepy crawly bug. It's like, okay, hi, just don't fly in my face, please. That's all I ask. <laughs> yeah, as long as you're not biting me or covering my food and stuff, I don't care. Hmm. I'm gonna go and... catch a stampler. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> uh, I... I'm out of eggs. Out of eggs. Gotta wait. Yep. Honestly, to, the one- Try to catch a shiny Stantler. Just chase oh. around Stantlers until, like, you have an egg. Come here! Come here! You're shiny! Give me- Give her! <laughs> um, honestly, the- The one guys I wish they'd learn to behave are the spiders, because we always get baby spiders every year. And my thing is, if you just stayed in the corners, we'd be chill. But you decide to always come flying down in my face. <laughs> Speaking of spiders, speak and they shall be summoned. Spiders got to chill. I was just saying, they're babies. They gotta learn somehow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, no, I've, I've learned. And, and my rule has always been with spiders: if you just keep to a corner or like out of out of view and not moving around a bunch, There's like, oh, nice. Um, we're chill. Mm. We're chill. We're good. Just don't, like, come in my face. Don't come flying in my face. It's not cool. It's rude. My rule for bugs is, um, if I catch you, you're going outside. Mm. That's the rule. Oh. I'm worried if I hit it, it'll die. Because mm. I'm level 52. I'm, okay. You know what? I'm gonna try. Do you not have, um... What is it? Whatever it is. Yeah. No! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh my god. That's alright, I'll just keep throwing bowels! <laughs> and it's another one. Was this before themed balls? Like quick balls and stuff like that? It's before quick balls specifically, but there are other. Special ones. There's the Kirk's Pokeballs, which all suck. Aww. Balls. Why 
Is that music because I killed a scaler that I was trying to catch? Yeah. You're level 14, get in the ball. Yes. Imagination. Don't worry. <laughs> it's Pikachu! Not even close! <laughs> I do have nine Master Balls. I could just use one, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> you have nine, though, dude. Those are for surprise shinies if they happen. How the fuck did you get nine? I have two hobbits that are corrupted. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, used the cloning they glitch. They made them. Yep. I used the cloning glitch to get master balls and gold nuggets so that I was rich. But then I bought a bunch of vitamins to give hope evolve Togepi and I'm no longer rich. Yeah, the master balls. They don't lay eggs anymore. They only give master balls. <laughs> Finally, use an ultra ball. Mm. Make me go through all my great balls. Let's go. Bitch. Oh. Get in the ball. Sleep powder or something, so I'm gonna reset. <laughs> I just didn't want to go digging in my boxes because it's so tedious in this game. Yeah. Oh, you can see my fingerprint. That's definitely not gross. <laughs> Honestly, I, I hope one day you find an image of the cursed hobbits. I want to see them. Oh, I sent it. I found it this morning. It's in uh, the game channel and I can server. Oh my god, I need to see this. Oh my god! It's bad. Head butt. <sighs> oh my god! Oh! Awesome Wait! Check. Wait, one of them is a Scyther? No, um, Scyther is what was in my party in the front. So oh. when I bounced over to the Scyther, it just got eaten by all the question marks and cursed images. Oh my god. <laughs> Change box. Box one. Yes. Oh, am I on the box one? Oh, yeah. That's fine. All right. Do you have sleep powder? Yes, you do. Get in here. <laughs> Make my job easier. And since I reset, I got all that Pokemon back. Alright, with the notion of sleep powder, I'm gonna go sleep powder. <laughs> <laughs> go have big EP sleepies. Yeah, I got what you're so. Go punish Sarah for his just gonna yell at me. <laughs> I'm just gonna yell at me for not covering for the two closers that called out, but that's not my problem. Not your problem. Sleep she won't yell at me, she won't be mad. <laughs> Alright, goodnight. Bye! Right. A spider. My, um, my whole team in this game that I went to the Elite Four with is named after my straw party. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 yes, 
Yes, I have hydrated imposter check. Actually, no. I have not done hydrate yet, but I am like in motion of doing it. Oh no. It takes me longer to do hydrates right now because I have one hand. Oh. Balls. Yeah. Balls. <laughs> My cat was afraid of spiders. It didn't want to see spin art. Stantler. Stantler. Okay, so yes. we we've talked about uh, voice or characters that would be voiced by Danny DeVito. Now comes the real question: Which of your characters would eat dirt? Would eat dirt? Yes. A lot of them. <laughs> that's a long list. That's more than I can count on one hand. That's that's true. I have a lot of characters who would eat dirt. For me, it's just all of my characters. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a matter of if they would, but when. Under what circumstances does it happen? When and how much? Yeah, when and how. Some of them will do it just because it tastes good. Others will do it because they're dare to. Yeah. You're looking at my characters that are literally just a dog. Like, yeah, they probably eat dirt once in a while. Yeah. Actually, now I'm gonna think about this. I have to go on to my toy house and count how many of them would eat dirt. Uh. That's not where all my characters are, but it's where the notable ones are right now, so we'll see. Uh -huh. Alright, we got one, two, three, four. that eat dirt. Yep. <laughs> it would be faster to count the ones that don't. Ten. Yeah. <laughs> uh, at least ten. <laughs> so I was right about not being able to count them with one hand. I need two hands. <laughs> yeah, it's fair. Where are the stampers? Round back. Oh, 
That was Master Ball. I don't Master Ball at Sandler. No. Get in. What? No! Bitch. Wow. <laughs> the Sandler wants to be Master Ball so bad. <laughs> just, just be like me when I got the Master Ball in Pokemon Shield and use it on a Wulu. Was it a regular Wulu? Yeah, of course it was. What do you mean a regular Wulu? All <laughs> Wulu's are special. <laughs> because I was told by my mom to use it on a Pokemon that I think truly deserves it. Okay, you're completely valid. Yeah. So I'll be right back for just a moment. Okay. Wow, the Sandler is really calmed out. Is a does this game also have the same like programming that a uh, Gen One does, where the Great Ball works better than the Ultra Ball? No, I don't think that carried over. Ah, uh, okay. But there is issues with the Fast Ball. What happened? Um, so Fast Ball is supposed to uh, make it easier to catch Pokemon that like flee immediately. There's an issue with the coding, and it only works on, like, two Pokemon. <laughs> I don't remember which Pokemon it is, I think it might be Magnemite. <laughs> I don't think Magnemite's even flee from battle. I, I think it has a low percentage chance to flee, but it's not what the ball was meant to do. Oh, we woke up. <laughs> So funny. If I use acid on you, will you die? I think oh. you will, I'm not gonna do it. No! <laughs> Don't dodge my sleep drugs. No. There you go. Pocket sand! Pocket sand! So a fun thing. I'm planning of doing in the future for a character. I'm thinking of having a character, especially if they're an alchemist, like in D&D, invent, like, what, what did I call it again? I think it was called, like, the Devil's Powder or something like that. And the idea, idea is just, like, pocket sand, but it's the worst pocket sand in history. Like, it's filled with crushed glass. Oh, no. Spicy pepper! Like, it, it is so bad! Asbestos! <laughs> yeah, like, just the worst things ever! Pocket cancer, go! <laughs> you created mace. <laughs> <laughs> mace the like old mace. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ! Why won't you get the ball? Oh. I'm gonna reset it again, I'm gonna go get another fucking Pokemon that can actually hit it. <laughs> why is this so mean? Stantler, I just wish to give you a home where you may be loved and cared for. That's not what I've been offering it at all, I'm going to point it into a puppy mill. Hi, Cory. <laughs> Hi, Cory. Hi, Cory. Where is my son? Where is my Cory? Right in front of you. I know he's not talking, I think his mic isn't working! Oh no. Oh no, he left! He left! Now he's gonna be really tiny when he comes back, because I saw oh, there he is! What? <laughs> <laughs> tiny Cory! There it goes. Uh, sorry, I was on FaceTime with Indrid, and I tried to jump into here, forgetting that I wasn't on Discord. Sorry. Everything <laughs> was fucked up on my phone. He just, he just read the eulogy, and he's like, this is an assassination attempt on my life. <laughs> <laughs> is that what made him want to walk into traffic? <laughs> yes. Oh, you, should, you, should check his, you should check his Twitter. <laughs> I will in a bit. Every time I finish streaming, I go see it. Because yes. he always happens to be reading it while I'm streaming. So I'm like, oh, a tree before bed, I can see Ifrit suffer. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. He's like, I'm just going to fucking walk into traffic. I'm going to walk into traffic right now. 
They're dr what are they doing? <laughs> Yeah, he, and then, uh, at the, um, at the, uh, uh, here lies Roger from date to date, he's like, fuck everything! Yep. Aww. Yep. Why would they do that? And we told him last night, and he was like, it was just too much for me, like, I had to go to bed and, like, you're, you, like, we told him last night, you're gonna, you're just gonna suffer more. You, yep. you were warned! You were <laughs> warned! I literally was saying he's gonna take the comic up and then put it right back down. <laughs> yup, we told him! Anyway, okay, nice to see, nice popping in. <laughs> Bye! 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 There we go, stamp the first try this time. So is Hellboy a comic or a book? It's a comic. Oh, okay. Hmm. I mean, there might be a novelization somewhere, but it's visual. It's visual. Oh, it's, it's also very long. It's not like One Piece levels of long, but it's deceivingly long. Okay, uh, please don't How many volumes? Um, uh, I would not even... <laughs> Oh my god, you almost killed him, but no boy! Fucking capture him! He is done! This is a Stantler that has been beaten to perfection. I'm putting it to sleep first. You. You got some booty slapping done. Oh my god. Um, so. There's like. An official reading list of Hellboy. That by itself looks very long, but every single point on that list is like ten chapters. So it and it, it like it's still actively being updated to this day. There's like mini stories and whatnot. Um, you can uh, I think Corey has the current up to date list if you want to see it. Mm -hmm. You can message him for it. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. One. Get in the ball. Two. Three. No, are you kidding me? You are you? Come on, dude, my good sir. Stantler. Stantler. You have been defeated. You have been slapped, booty slapped, face slapped. You have been slapped to the nth degree. You have one HP. Are you kidding me? This Stant. I will give this Stantler props. Has like the low ass HP. Thriving and fighting to the bitter end. Yeah, the music that's playing right now is really intense for this time. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. What the fuck? Give him the great ball. Okay, I'll switch to the great ball. Give this man the great ball. Mm hmm. Nice cock. <laughs> you using the Stantler. He's pulling his cock out! Space. I almost just ended it. A nice C. <laughs> nice C. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, wait, uh, uh. wait, hold on. Uh, name it Nice Clock with an L. <laughs> Why? To get past the sensor. There is a dissensor right now. To get past the Twitch TOS. Mm. <laughs> wow. I am an adult channel. I can say cock. Oh, um, I 
made a discovery to either today or last night, I can't remember. But, um, y'all know how I've been using Google Boxes speech to text to do DD notes? Yeah. Uh, so one of my gripes with that is it doesn't let me swear. So if I say fuck, it just censors it and says F and then star, star, star. I found out that if I do the iPhone voice to text, it lets me say fuck. Oh my god. So I can open Google Docs on my phone and use my iPhone instead of the computer mic. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm gonna be doing that from now on. Fair. It's no use to <laughs> Great ball. Have a yeah. nice cock, bull. <laughs> I tried to deposit it, and then my trackpad went down too far. Oh, fucking no! Okay, I'm sitting again. <laughs> you have no cock. No cock. You are cockless now. The next one gets to be named no cock. <laughs> there was nice cock. Now we have no cock. So fucking funny, oh my god. I don't know if I'll get as close to 1 HP as I did last time. That seemed a little too good to be true. Let me use Scyther instead, that might be safer. We'll find out. Oh, hi, Sammy. Sherman! I love you, Sherman! Yeah, I love you. I love all I love everyone's cat. I live vicariously through other people's pets. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. I'm gonna have to go and make like a, a master card of all of that. Yeah, you need to. That was so stupid. This is the universe punishing me for naming it my stock. This does remind me of an audio post that I once heard, um, that was used for, like, an animatic. I think it was two pe- it was between two people, and I think it was maybe, like, a a D D game or something, because one of them was, like, narrating a, in a DM fashion, uh, saying, You feel the deep indentations of the scratches you have made along the door, and the other person responds, I fixed the door, and the other person responds, You have no cock. <laughs> the other person, yeah, and person B is just like, Why would you say that? <laughs> you have no cock. <laughs> As in, like, C A U L K. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> My cat friends are gone. Oh, yeah. That's hilarious. I love it, man. I, I will, I will give the English language this. Some words, because of how we pronounce them, sound certain ways, and you get so many fun innuendos and that kind of thing. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Do y'all know the app Life 360? Um, no, I do not. It's it's like a family tracking app, so you can make sure your family's not like being kidnapped or something. Um, oh. It, it's like you add people to your group and it tracks your location in a very creepy way, but it only shows it to the people in your group. So I have it with uh, me and my housemates uh, mm -hmm. and one other friend. And it just gave me the notification that my brother's phone battery is at 8%. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but it, <laughs> how do you let that happen? <laughs> Get the ball. What? Nope. Stay our is very determined to ruin my life tonight. I wasn't even supposed to be getting Stay our attention tonight. Oh. This is supposed oh. to be a target be focused stream. Oh my god. Alright, Moth, Moth, chill the fuck out. Let me catch you, please. I don't like killing you guys usually, but. I'm also not gonna let you just fly around all night. I gotta go to bed at some point. Yep. Did you enter my No, you didn't. Moth, I swear to freaking god. No, crap. Oh, oh, shit, I gotta get a thing to wipe. I, I spilled some coffee. I was gonna use an old coffee container to catch the moth. Oops. If I'm lucky, he'll fly into my dice pack, and I'll laugh my ass off as he is stuck in my dice pack. <laughs> yeah, I'll Get be back ball. for a second. Okay. Get the ball! <laughs> Get the ball. One, two, three. I'm gonna use a more ball on it, just to be funny. If you make the mistake again, and I'm not even gonna nickname it. It doesn't get to be graced with a nickname. Mm -hmm. He has no cock after all. No cock. <laughs> that was the stupidest shit ever. <laughs> Worst Twitch tangents by far. Oh my god. Watch me release it again. Oh! Oh, you little fuck. Damn it! Why did you play it? No, are you there? No. Damn Get it. it! Get that moth. No, he literally, he was like right beside me, like, hee haw, hee haw, hello! <laughs> and then I, I looked to grab something to catch him, 
I look back and he's gone. Oh my god. Alright. This is your your tomb, my good moth. The second I see you, I am catching you in the tiny box. That's what you get. Alright, now we're gonna ride back to the daycare to see if there's any food with the eggs. Turn every light in your room off and turn a lamp on. Um, that moth has not been going near the one bright light in my room. It's oh, been going to my screen, which is not bright at all. I do dark settings on my computer. Huh. Turn, <laughs> turn every light in your room on and make a little tent. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's like 11.39 in like an hour and some, I do need to go to bed. I don't have time to set up a tent and then leave. <laughs> I mean, it, it is clearly just an outdoor moth that got inside, so I'm not even that worried about it flying around. It's just more like, please don't land on my drink. I'm going to be very sad if you land on my drink, because moths are related to butterflies and you have scales and that shit's powdery. There's no egg. <laughs> no egg. <laughs> hey, hey, bull. What? Hey, bull. Can I offer you a nice egg in this trying time? Yes. <laughs> I would like to have one. I would like to have an egg in this trying time. I don't know why this is happening. <laughs> This entire stream today is just trying to fight me. Mm -hmm. all my luck. Heads. Exactly. My, all my luck has been surrendered to the the fight with the Aerodactyl. Yep. That that is my life in a nutshell. There'll be like huge gaps of like, you know, for example, like rolling stats for D and D, where yep. it'll be like okay or average, and then I'll get a character like Merle. Who rolled like 218 and like his lowest stat was a 10 or 11 and his stats were like 18, 18, 15, 13, 10. <laughs> it was almost 90 if you added the score up. Nice. Like, I'll get those moments and then all the energy is expended in that moment. <laughs> And like a game, having to wait for the bar to refill to use that skill again. <laughs> yep. I, I am normal. If I don't get another egg in the next four minutes, I'm gonna switch to Stantler eggs. Mm. And just accept the loss for now. Yeah. Because I think, I think my Togepi is cursed. Did your... Does... Does your Togetic like Ditto? Yes, it, I've hatched eggs already. Oh, okay. Huh. I've hatched 11 of them. It just, for some reason, they don't want to make eggs. They go forever without making them. Rude. Stop it. Ditto is tired. <laughs> Ditto does not get tired. It only knows how to fuck. <laughs> Ditto! You can't tell me I'm wrong. No, I'll stay here, no. Ditto is the one that lasts for hours. <laughs> Sherman! Hello again, Sherman! I love you despite being a naughty boy. He wants to be let out of my room while they're back. Aww. Grandfather Cat. Grandfather Cat. This game is spiteful. <laughs> but in other Pokemon news, the Pokemon Direct is tomorrow morning. 
and I will be waking up an hour early to watch it. Not an hour early in comparison to the time that it plays an hour earlier than my usual wake up. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to be disappointed? I'm always ready to be disappointed. But I know, I know they'll show some stuff from the DLC. So I'm excited to see that at least. Mm. Jesus, there's no eggs. <sighs> there's no eggs. My game is cursed. <laughs> cursed game. Full. <laughs> so the team doesn't want to make eggs because it's afraid of all the pterodactyls flying overhead. Oh. What do you think, aside from the DOC, that they're going to talk about in the direct tomorrow? Phone games. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping there will be like. A fun little promotional gift for Pokemon Sleep because I actually play that. Oh. Pokemon Sleep, Pokemon Cafe <laughs> Remix, Pokemon Unite. Pokemon Masters. Pokemon Masters. I'm hoping, like, if I, if I wanted to be as optimistic as possible, I always hope for, like, a port of the GameCube Pokemon games. Like, um, Coliseum and XD. Ooh. Those they the won't. They, Game Freak doesn't like to acknowledge those games existing. <laughs> yes, they do, because they took Shadow Pokemon and put them in Pokemon Go. Ah. Why would they do that? Why would because they Game do that Freak, to me? Because Game Freak doesn't make that game. It's licensed to them. Yeah, but they don't make it, so they don't. Game Freak doesn't make the phone games either. Yeah. And they acknowledge those frequently, so your logic does not follow through. I'm not being logical, I'm making a joke. <laughs> There's no logic in a joke, it's words. It's words, babe. The joke has to make sense, babe. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it does. No, we're no. You, you as an active Tumblr user, know that literally nothing needs to make sense for it to be funny. Exactly. But it still has to be funny, doesn't it? <laughs> it was funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been long enough. It's time to swap out of here. Yeah. Put in the towel, Togepi, you're out! We're switching ya! <laughs> Honestly, I would love if they put uh, any of the, like, Game Boy Mystery Dungeon games on the Virtual Console on the Switch. Yeah. Or whatever Ooh. that thing is called on there. The Virtual Console. <laughs> Oh, I almost released it. Oh, no. <laughs> I I was about to say, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> I would never have gotten that. You can't get that thing more than once. <laughs> You're my friend. I would have roasted you nonstop if you did that. <laughs> you, you the rest of the stream would have been me absolutely blasting you for it. <laughs> Stop going out of focus. Stop it. Uh, it's Stantler time, baby. Let me go find it and get them Stantler. It's Stantler time. Stantler time. Oh, Did you yeah. name that Stantler no cock? No, I didn't name it at all because it didn't oh. deserve it. It was wow. there. Well, more importantly, he literally technically has no cock. There's no cock in his name. It's also yeah, a female. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. 
literally does not have a cock. <laughs> like, just cockless antler right here. You have no cock. How could you and say you... that? You have no <laughs> cock. And you know what? But you, but you know what? Cockless stanter or stampler? <laughs> stanter. Stanter. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we stand her. <laughs> My, wow. Cock but uh, revoked. cock rights revoked. But you know what? You didn't just spontaneously run away, so <laughs> you're <laughs> the right thing. I can't find them. Oh. A gift of shiny stampler in his hand. Um, I don't think I'll be any luckier, but... No, um, okay, there's a sprite gallery, but they're not animated. I guess we can just deal with the... the static one. Yeah. Hey, that's bad. That's oh, is, is. The, is the shiny it. stantler green? Yes! Oh, okay. There's gifts uh, in other games, but I want to I want to use the one from this game. Yeah, no, I, I was trying to find. Yeah, no, unfortunately. Wobbapedia well, should have one, but their file system has been a little weird lately. Yeah, it's it's animated, but if I save it, it turns into a PNG. I don't know how to fix that. Um... Nope, that doesn't work. Well, that's upsetting. That's sad. I guess we're having a... A still image. <laughs> Save the image. Properties, Browse, Stantler, Stantler. Where did you go? Oh, you were in <laughs> Vinny. Oh, look how small that is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> the little Stantler that ever did live there. We we saw a few days ago, Grandpa. This is this is Grandbaby. Grandbaby. Grandpa. Crab baby, crab boo boo. <laughs> oh. All right, let's change the shiny text. Go to P. Stand blur. Oops. Eight count zero. I'm gonna update it on my phone too. I'm gonna try to autocorrect a stand lead. Oh, that's good. <laughs> All right, let's let's see if uh, let's see if they fuck. Fuck, fuck. Yeah, fuck. do it. Big egg. Yippee! Yippee! Thank you for the follow after I said that. Thank you for the follow, Dominique. Also, I'm sorry. <laughs> and hey, oh, it's gonna take a minute. Well, if Aaron Jackson did one thing for me, it was give me consistent eggs. <laughs> This is insane. <clears throat> I saw you might I try at one point. Mm. Um that would probably kill me. Is I want to get Shiny Dialga in uh, Brilliant Diamond. 
which would involve saving before you encounter it, encountering it, and then if it's not shiny, you reset and then you do it again. Oh. Um, I tried that the last time I played it, and I got like 10 encounters in and was like, actually, this sucks, and I didn't go back. <laughs> oh. But I think if I did it on stream, it might be more bearable because I could talk to talk through my pain. <laughs> mm. Hey, they don't want to make games either. It might be to know. It was like stop. And <laughs> was like ah. I don't need to bury anyone else. Mm. Also, uh. I'm using the shiny Ditto in the daycare. Cause that's how you boost shiny arms in this game. <laughs> it doesn't work like that in any other game. Mm. Hmm. This Stantler shiny sprite is the color of pea soup. Yeah. You're not wrong. Sherman's yelling outside my door, but I'm alone and he's gonna yell and go out. Mm. It's the time of night for him to be rude. You gotta just not let Sherman into your room. No, he mm. usually just goes and lies down and sleeps. Mm. That's what he's doing most of the time if I'm not mentioning him. <laughs> <laughs> It's shaped just like him. Mm. Get me an egg! Come on, egg! egg. Oh, there we go. Oh, hell place. yeah! Good. Oh, speaking of the sprites there, um, I know there's a bunch more Digimons I haven't looked through. Um, Digimon sets, I should say. And I need to find the one that has Leom on it. Leom on <laughs> it for very obvious reasons. Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised the ones I downloaded didn't have that. Yeah, I'm surprised. Leo Leomon's one of the most, like, well-known. Thanks to Agumon and Gautamon. Yeah. Yeah, Leomon's in every series. Yes. Yeah. And, and he's finally broken the curse and has not died in one. <laughs> yeah, I'm proud of him. He did good. He deserved it. He deserved vacation. From dying. Yeah, right. See, now we need Wizardmon. And Wizardmon also not dying, but Perma dying too. Woof. I want this so that I can transfer it over and then evolve it into Grandpa. We need Green Grandpa. Yes. We need Green Pa. Green Paw! Green Paw! You should name him Green Paw if you can. <laughs> I might. Yeah! Or Green Ma, if they're ladies. Oh yeah. Green, Green Ma! This is the most riveting stream content I've ever produced. 
there's a way you can play heavy metal, just da na 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 Um, no, kid. Unfortunately, I did not get Togepi. It just stopped making eggs for some reason. So I was like, okay, I think Togetic needs a break. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, did Oka go for days? Togetic cannot. Yeah. Togetic was protesting, so it's Stantler time. Hopefully gonna get a green Stantler. That would be nice. <laughs> I still can't believe and I accidentally released that one. <laughs> I still can't believe it either. Like, oh my god, what is the chance you just click, 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 oh, just eat um, them into the wild. It happens more often than you think, because, um, uh, <laughs> so on the, on the 3DS, it has this thing, and that's what I use to move around, because it's easier on my fingers than, uh, that one, um, it takes less pressure to push it. No. Oh. Um, but the trade-off is that sometimes it's a little extra sensitive and will go directions I didn't want to go or go too far. <laughs> oh. Oh no. That was so fucking funny though, I can't wait to go. Yeah. <laughs> A cringe compilation. That definitely like has to be like that's just that, but it's clipped. Like that needs to be like a YouTube short. I, I'm, I'm gonna do it. Good, good. I made a YouTube short version of um, the Aerodactyl reactions too. I I saw like, glimpses. Yeah. I guess just you and me just like going ape shit when the first one appears. Like ah, yeah. it's grape soda. It's grape soda. Grape soda. Grape soda, baby. Grape yeah. soda. <laughs> I just need a clip of me saying you have no cock. <laughs> oh my god, please. You're always free to go back in the vault and find it. Yeah. Sherman's yelling outside my door. Oh. <laughs> well, I, I I will try to find the clip for you tomorrow. Um, one of the cats at my workplace, because I work in a basement and the owner has like two cats and a dog. Um, one of the cats one time, by pure luck, I caught like making noises because they both don't usually make a lot of noise, but one of them will do the row in the hallway oh. to call to the other cat and i kid you not in the video the cat just like kind of walks forwards and like dudley just goes woo woo oh. <laughs> i'm just like what the hell was that dudley it's the first i have never heard dudley do anything but harrow <laughs> so cats make weird noise I do too. I've also trained Felix, who is an immensely quiet cat, to talk if he wants treats. <laughs> Good. But he will do like a... Like he'll do like a tiniest meow. Aww. A I soft, see you, Mom. gentle voice. A soft, gentle voice. Also, once again, the moth taunting me, flying <laughs> under my table now, going, ha 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 ha, goodbye. The moth of disaster. The moth of disaster. A bad omen. <laughs> I mean, a bad omen for the moth. It benefits you if you leave. There are animal. There are like spiders in this house who will eat you. <laughs> the moth is at war with the spiders. It's an enemy <laughs> spy. Oh my god! I'm here to defeat spiders. What's it for all? It's counting the spiders' numbers so they know how many moths to bring. Oh my god. They're gonna come back in like a month with 8,000 moths and you're gonna be like, OH MY GOD! Listen, moths, if you're gonna do that, at least be Luna moths, cause then I'll just be like, here's a photo of the 800 Luna moths that entered my home. Oh no, 8,000. <laughs> 8,000 8, Luna moths. I mean, I, I mean, it'd be 
worse, but also it'd be like, dude, do you see these pretty fucking mobs? What's the probability this has happening? Oh, Suck yeah. it. I got 8,000 Luna mobs in my house and you don't. <laughs> yeah, you need to take a video of that and be like, I don't even know what to make of the situation. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm lucky, they'll take out the earwigs while they're here. Oh, yeah. Give me a, give me a, give me a, give me a. Hey, hey. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I will be right back again for just a moment. Okay. For the stream and part of last stream, um, I've been listening to battle tracks from Pokemon Masters because it's just remixes of other Pokemon battle themes, and they go really hard. And right now it's it's playing the Gensis battle theme. It's going Gensis, Gensis. And it sounds like it's saying Dennis. 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 Douglas. Douglas. <laughs> no. <laughs> Man, that, why is that kid like really having it up for that scene? I don't know, but there's never been a better line delivery in anything ever. Yeah, that he was amazing. <laughs> many things to watch on Q. It is on there. It's the very last thing on the list. That's what I added the most recently. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We had the same thoughts twice within the span of a week and we not, not realizing I had that thought already. <laughs> Dog, I had that movie on DVD and it came with 3D glasses and that movie yeah. lives in my head. Oh yeah. If I could play that on Discord, and let everybody have 3D glasses, I would. But I don't think that's reasonable. Mm -hmm. Probably not. We still need to watch Digimon Tamers, too. Yes, oh, we, do. we do. Let me know what your uh, schedule's like. We can find time for it. Yeah. I'm free for so often, because I am currently uh, not employed. <laughs> Same, buddy. Good night, kid! Bye, night kid! Oh, what's your- what, what time did you usually wake up? Uh, like around 9 to 10. Hey, you wanna do like, some afternoon or dinner time watches some episodes? Yeah, sure, let's do it. Fuck yeah. I'll be you gotta find where to you. watch it though, I don't know where to watch it. Oh yeah, I got you, don't worry. I believe you. I, I, I got you because I've already been re-watching it with my best friend because they've never seen it before either, so I already have the website, like, pulled up. <laughs> nice. You... You are going to enjoy Terriermon. I don't know if I've seen Terriermon before. I mean, I might have seen it, but I don't know about him. Yeah, that's big. Do <laughs> you want me to not look it up, or can I look it up? Uh, you can look it up if you want to, because it's not gonna, like, make much of a difference, uh, compared to, like, seeing him in action. Oh 
yeah, I know this guy. Yeah. Yeah, you can. This, this guy's um, got mascot syndrome. You can't not see this guy. Mm. What a cutie patootie, though. Yeah. yeah. Also, I have to look something up real quick. Uh, go, go, go. Also, to emphasize how much of a little shit this moth is, I literally got up to like, okay, you stopped on a wall. I'm gonna catch you. I looked back, wasn't moving. I leave the room for like a second. I come back, it's gone. <laughs> Just to spite you, dude. Just to spite me, this moth is gonna be the death of me. Okay, I uh, it was taking a minute to hatch this first egg, so I started having the concern that what if this, what if Stantler for some reason takes just as long as Aerodactyl, and it absolutely oh, no. does not. Oh. Yeah. So Aerodactyl takes 8,960 steps to hatch one egg. Oh. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. Stantler takes uh, 5,120. So, almost half. Dog, that sucks. Yeah. yeah. Why do you think I suffered so much for Aerodactyl? It took so <laughs> long. Why did it take months? Because of all the steps. All the all steps. Those step all the steps, baby. Um, can I quickly, can I just very quickly, uh, talk about, uh, because I've been listening to the soundtrack from it again recently, uh, about Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks. Oh, yeah. Because it's, it's, so it's not the best Zelda game, I'll admit. It's not the worst, but it ain't great. Uh, but it is my personal absolute favorite, um, not the least of which is because it's kind of a... So, Wind Waker has a DS sequel that is Phantom Hourglass, and then that game has a DS sequel that is Spirit Tracks, um, where Link is an engineer on a train. He's still the, like, the hero and still has to go and fight uh, the evil of that game, but he also, uh, he also drives a train. <laughs> the soundtrack? slap so hard because the person who uh, composed the music of that game is the same composer for Breath of the Wild. No fucking way. It was literally her debut working on a on a Legend of Zelda game too. It was Spirit Tracks and they were so impressed with her that they had to give her they wanted to give her the uh, the job of working on composing for the next Zelda game which was Skyward Sword but since that was already in the middle of the development. Uh, they pushed her over onto Breath of the, the Wild. Next... Oh my god, it's amazing. Oh yeah. It's so good. And, like, the uh, the most well-known track that has been remixed a lot is the uh, the Overworld theme. Um, if, I, if you listen to it, you'll probably know it just tangentially. If you listen to Zelda music, you'll be like, oh, it's that one. Uh, but... Honestly, it's so, like, music is so important in that game because part of the plot of it is going around to find these different uh, individuals called Locomo, who are just people that are, like, watch over spirits and the afterlife, but also they are trained, <laughs> they're like trained people. <laughs> what do you mean and you go, trained people? Uh... They, so for one thing, they're called Locomo, as in locomotive, but also they kind of just sit in, like, what I guess are wheelchairs that kind of, like, vaguely have, uh, the, like, uh, what's the word? That are, like, abstracted designs of, like, the, the front of a train car, kind of. Yes. Yeah. Um, so they like each literal trains, train people. Yeah, kind of. They have, they're, they're just people. They've got like legs in there, but they sit in like a wheelchair thing. I see. Yeah. Uh, 
It's Zelda design, so it, trying to explain any Zelda character design and it's like trying to describe a color, really. <laughs> also, but first thing, Larry. Hey. hey! Come on! Give us that pea soup. Pea soup. Gave us that pea soup. Oh. That was the first thing. Welcome to my luck. <laughs> I just got some chest pain. I think I was on a heart attack. This Stantler really was psyched about hearing me talk about spirit tracks. <laughs> mm. I think because of all the nice cop jokes, I need to name it Richard. <laughs> Wait, Richard. Richard is its last name. Its first name is Goody. Like, Good like Goody Richard. Proctor. I'm just, like, in shock. I don't even... <laughs> I, I, I was... Oh, my God. Well, I guess that'll be good to add on to the Sandler compilation, because I didn't mean for it to end in anything positive. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, Richard? <laughs> uh, Richard, what the hell? What the fuck, Richard? <laughs> I think oh, of that vine. Oh, I'm not allowed to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that vine. It's not that one. Oh, it's not that one. No, nice it's what the fuck, Richard? Is when the guy throws the frisbee onto the roof. <laughs> oh, that one. Does the inflection for for reason have my brain going? Uh oh, no, I remember. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's when the guy throws it into traffic. Is, is that being spelled, Richard? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. what the fuck, Richard? Richard? Yeah, I know. I got my Vine, or got my, like, meme videos mixed up. No, that's fair. I, I only remember that Vine because literally every time I think of... Every time I hear the phrase, what the fuck, I just think of, what the fuck, Richard? Get a shiny like Stantler from the get go. The first egg. The first egg. And I, I have five more eggs. And watch as every single one becomes a shiny. That would be pretty funny. That would be. Well, I guess I gotta. I gotta go put this in the box and then just. Wait a second. I did not release Richard. You witnessed it. I did not release him. Mm -hmm. He is not released. <laughs> I... I can't believe that just happened. Like, yeah. I'm gonna go edit videos tomorrow. And I'm gonna look at that and I still won't believe it. Egg count one. <laughs> egg count one. I'm not even gonna update it on stream. Like I have it. I have my. I have my egg count here on my phone too for all the ones that I've gotten already. I'll just keep it there. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta. I gotta 
go get uh, no cock out of there. No cock. <laughs> saw goody saw goody Richard at the Devil Sacrament the other day. Girl, what were you doing at the Devil Sacrament? Oh my God. <laughs> Box. I gotta go put the stamper in the. I don't need you anymore, Box. Hmm. <laughs> what the fuck? I know, it is like, what the hell? Well, I guess I can start. Put Togepi back in there. <laughs> Alright, Togepi. Like, what's the Togetek? Is the name yeah, of the Yeah, Togetek. Yeah, Togetek. Get back in there. Oh. Gotta do some switcheroos here. Because I gotta put the, uh. I gotta put Richard in the shiny box, too. But I have space. <laughs> oh no. The sprite art. The sprite art of Ursaring in this game looks like he's voiced by John DiMaggio. <laughs> <laughs> First time. I am too. First. <sighs> oh, that reminds me. Um, when I was visiting my sister um, in Texas, uh, we we did the long drive to Texas, and um, when we got to the house, uh, she was like, oh, "I've been trying to." Hunt Aerodactyl the whole time during the car ride, and I didn't get it. So she oh. was like, Oh, that reminds me, I was trying to hatch a shiny, um, what was it? A deli bird. She was trying to hatch a shiny deli bird in Pokemon Sword. Oh. So she was like, I've got a few eggs, I'm gonna just get through them. And I was like, Wouldn't it be funny if the very first egg you hatched was shiny? And she was like, ha ha, yeah, and guess what happened? Shiny. Yes. That's amazing. Uh, yes, and she also got doubles. A few weeks later, there was a second shiny. Oh my god. <laughs> it was meant to be. It was meant to be. A shiny delivered. Yep. Then mm. she found... Whoops, brother. She found um, a shiny Miss Magius running out of, around in the wild, and I was so happy for her. Yo, nice. Egg, 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 egg. egg. There we go. <sighs> okay. Who is next? <laughs> well, I guess I'll put the picture back to tell the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. hi Togepi! <laughs> there we go, I got the shiny! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> you did it! Oh wait, Hooray! put the shiny on my desk. I'll put it on your desk. Hi Togepi! Oh <laughs> hi, my Togepi. god! Hey Togepi, how you doing? Wait, I, have to make, I have to make it like, life size. Oh, baby! This, this is how I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you were. You are much larger than Toby Pete. You're seven feet. Is this about accurate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it would probably have to be way smaller. 
Well, it kind of fits. It fits in Missy's backpack, and she's like four feet, so maybe like that big. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> wait, wait, there you go. Now it's in, in uh, very deaf. <laughs> yeah, look at him. Yeah. Yay, time to pee. Oh, he's a little. He's... You know what? Like, can I duplicate? <gasps> yeah, just, uh, image that existed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yay. Hell yeah. He gets to stay down there with you. Hell yeah. <laughs> I still can't believe that shit happened. I know. Oh, I had to change the words. It still says Stanford. Oh. oh my god, I'm gonna just hatch through the rest of my Stantler and then call it a night because that was a success, but oh my god. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> While you do that, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up what I was saying about spirit Please. tracks and may <laughs> maybe maybe that'll result in a second shiny Stantler. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, music is a big part of that game because Link gets this, uh, hand flute called the Spirit Flute that uses the DS microphone. When you blow into it, you can actually play notes into the flute for Link to play. That's cool. And it's yeah. very cute. Uh, and you go around traveling from different location to different location, uh, to visit each of the different locomo and learn a different song from each of them which is very fun because you get to enjoy not only listening to like a cute little tune each of them play but it's kind of this back and forth of they'll start a song and then you'll have to play on your pan flute to like match up with it and you get this cute little scene of them and princess zelda and link all enjoying the song together oh. spirit tracks is also oh. one of the first if only games where Zelda is is the companion character to Link and joins him on his journey from start to finish. Hell yeah. Uh, she gets her body stolen so she is a spirit and follows him around as a ghost but she can possess giant suits of armor to help fight alongside him. Oh yeah yeah. Yeah, it's really good too. It's also like the most character and character like progression that Zelda has had in uh, a lot of her. Well, no, that's not true because uh, Age of Calamity and Breath of the Wild did a good job with Zelda's character. But um, in terms of like her character, because she starts out as this like she starts out as this uh, like pre <laughs> spoiled princess, not spoiled, but like you know the the typical like girl princess kind of and like tries to sneak out with him but uh yeah. uh you know it doesn't do the whole fighting thing but like uh just by virtue of spending time with link and going on adventures she eventually becomes more and more used to having to fight and it's just very cute because by the end of it they end up like they basically end up confirmed as being in a relationship with each other instead of oh. being like implicit Aww. ooh are they or are they not kind of thing yeah they, they get around the will they won't they nonsense yeah. yeah they literally hold hands and it's the cutest thing oh. one second eight. Hmm. all right now give us the shiny give us the shiny come on give us richard jr nope nah nah that's alright, I'm not expecting anything now! <laughs> the first egg! A fucking precious! I know! Beautiful. <laughs> Gorgeous. 10 out of 10. <laughs> After Aerodactyl gave you such trouble. Yeah. I know. I, I mean, I got doubles on Aerodactyl too, so it was almost worth it. <laughs> almost. I'll still have nightmares about it, but at least I have great soda and great soda. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we got, like, uh, four more standards to hatch. Ooh. 
Yay! Stitler! Richard. What the fuck, Richard? <laughs> what the fuck, Richard? What the fuck, Richard? Uh, oh, yeah, uh, so because Phantom Hourglass is a direct sequel to Wind Waker, that game features Tetra, uh, and introduces a new character, Linebeck, which, who is a very fun and very good character, because he's just, he's just, how do I describe him? He's just a bastard. Yeah, he is. <laughs> He is like I, I fucking love Linebag, just like this absolute dork of a man. Literally a coward who doesn't want anything to do with what Link's going through, and then hears that if he helps with Link, he'll be granted a wish, and that means he could wish for riches and treasures. And immediately he turns around and is like, What are you waiting for? Get on <laughs> everyone get on board. We're setting sail. Let's go. Okay. He's great, and he, uh, and Spirit Tracks apparently takes place a hundred years after Phantom Hourglass. Uh, the Zelda in Spirit Tracks is a direct descendant of Tetra, which is awesome because they refer to her as Tetra. They don't ever call her Zelda in that game. Ooh, hell yeah! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> shout out to not dead naming your ancestor. Yeah. Um, and, like, he isn't a character, but there is a Lineback the Third that exists in <gasps> Spirit Tracks. Yes! Oh my god, yes, good! He, it's literally just Lineback, but with a, with a boater cap on, you know, like the flat top kind of hat. <clears throat> it's great, he runs a, a treasure shop. <gasps> good. Good for him. Yeah. Uh, if any of you also remember the like the member of uh, Tetris crew, Nico, uh, he is still alive in uh, Spirit Tracks, which makes him over a hundred years old. God damn, Nico, fucking ancient. Bruh. Yeah. <laughs> Good for Nico. Good for him. He deserves it. Yeah, that game is great. It's got a lot of charm in its story. It's got good character writing. I really like it. Uh, like I said, gameplay isn't great. I I don't mind the gameplay, but I do understand where it can get a bit tedious because uh, you're literally on a railroad. <laughs> it's funny because uh, Wind Waker and Phantom Hourglass, you have the whole open sea to explore. And then Spirit Tracks is like, now you're literally on a railroad, so you can only control how fast you go, but not like where you go necessarily yeah. uh and you have missions where you can uh take passengers or cargo on train uh and take them from one place to the other if you take passengers though you have to abide by like railroad uh laws and regulations so you have to slow down at signs that tell you to slow down and you have to blow the whistle which by the way there's a little lever that lets you blow the whistle just for fun in that game we have to blow it anytime it's like Aww. you see a sign that says to. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a. It can be a little bit of a. Like, it does ask for patience here and there, but I really like it. It's got a lot of charm, and uh, it's one of those games I will say that if you play that one, you should play Phantom Hourglass beforehand because they're kind of like. They're kind of a package deal in a way, not the least of which is because like one is a, a sequel to the other, but just they both offer differences um, in terms of playing experience and have like strengths that support each other's weaknesses because they don't do very well standing up on their own. But when you play them together, it's like, yeah, I can understand why these are both like why people consider these uh, a joint kind of duology thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, it's been out of focus for a hot minute. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it has. It doesn't want to fix itself. I'm going to have to go right into the grass to see if that'll fix it. <laughs> grass, grass. Grass, 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 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? Be like one of the main antagonists of Spirit Tracks uh, is uh, this guy Chancellor Cole. This isn't really a spoiler because it happens like literally within the first half hour of the game's story. Uh, but just like. Do yourself a favor and just look up Chancellor Cole and tell me if that's not the most, like, Toon era Legend of Zelda design. Mm -hmm. I is it like, like, uh, Cole, like the rock or like the name? Like the name. Uh, I'm Why does he have two hats on his horns? Because, <laughs> uh,. He he starts out, the reason why he's Chancellor Cole is because he starts out as uh, Zelda's Chancellor and like working alongside Her Highness, uh, and he's disguised to look like a Hylian, so he had, he's hiding his horns. So he's just wearing two hats like a freak and nobody questions it? <laughs> it's, a, it's a Legend of Zelda game, do you think people question what anyone wears? I would question the hats. I wouldn't. Hey. <laughs> Egg. I, I would just be like, oh dang, that guy's got two hats on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so sorry to disbelief over the shiny Stantler. I'm not gonna get over that for days, I hope y'all know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you already I'm got the shiny <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Especially because I've been trying to get a shiny Stantler in Legends for a long time, just haven't gotten it. So, uh, I mean, I have it now! Yeah! Yeah. Is the shiny Stantler in that one also pea soup colored? No, it's like a lime green. Oh, alright. Oh. Yeah. I think, um, its evolution is also green when it's shiny. Go look. Hmm. Okay, it's- it's a little- it's not as piece of green. Received the light green comment, it's not quite light green. Mm -hmm. I'm sending it to light chat. Wire Deer, however, is like a very nice pale pastel green. Ah. Wh Why? Why are Stan shiny Sandler's horns the same color as the rest of his body? <laughs> it's a little different, but it is light minimal. Mm. It's not different enough. Yeah, it's not different enough. I'm so sorry to all the Pokemon like Espeon, whose shiny <laughs> forms is just one big solid blob of green. <laughs> It'd be like that. Yeah. <laughs> Ignore the fact that I'm wearing a green shirt. <laughs> Calling yourself out. Also, um, earlier I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna wear to Froggins and Sarah's wedding. Because I got, I'm like I haven't bought a, co a costume yet, and I was like, if if money wasn't an issue, I would come in full Dracula cosplay. And um, Corey just sent me this picture. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I found the costume. Do you think Froggins would hate me if I came in this outfit? I don't know. I I feel like Froggins would absolutely find it magical, but. But, like, I feel like check of Tohawkins just in case. No, I'm gonna come there like this unannounced with my tits out. Yes! <laughs> I was gonna say, I think Froggins would only be okay with it if you were, like, appropriately covered up. 
<laughs> I think they would be upset if you did come tits out. <laughs> Wait, look, look at the tiny little feet that it comes with. I know! <laughs> Wait, it's... hold up. Oh, go, go, sorry, go ahead. You, there, you can see it. It's upside down, but you can see it. It's not just there, you go. Okay. It's, it's comically small, and I like it. That's just a wrestling singlet, but with a very deep V cut. Yep. Also, can we just really quick appreciate that model's thighs? Yes, let me open that back up. Wow. <laughs> Not your average thighs. <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah. Hey, legs? Probably one of the harder muscle sizes to build up, so good on that guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to quit that later and then send it to Froggins. Yes. <laughs> then you're gonna ruin the surprise! <laughs> hey. Hey. Show me the pea soup again. Oh. No soup for you! No. Oh. No. no! Come on, we need more pea soup! <laughs> no, we do you want to see the pea soup, right? Mm. That's a pea! <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. So the PAs are still taking a while, I don't know what the problem is. No. We've got, um, two more Santa rigs. Oh. Uh, I think unfortunately I do need to buff off because it is getting very late. And I do That's okay. Yeah. Get out of here and get some good sleep. I send good vibes, may there be more pea soup. <laughs> Thanks, I'll let you know. Yeah, see you guys later. Bye, good night. Bye. Bye. At least these don't take as long as they're in Actal. Yeah, you'll be done before you know it. Yeah. So aside from, uh, Pokemon Direct tomorrow. I also have to be up earlier than normal because uh, we have somebody coming out to check out our AC unit. Uh, I don't know if you were listening when I told Froggins earlier, uh, but the vent in my bathroom is dripping water and there's a giant stain on the ceiling now. Oh, and, gross. Yeah, it's definitely not like a roof leak because it's not been raining. So, it's the, it's the, it's something wrong with the AC unit, so hopefully our warranty covers it. But the whole ceiling's probably gonna have to get re dry walled. Oh. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. And when I came in there today after my nap, um, there was so much water on the floor, it, it splashed up on my fish wallpaper. And I'm like, you had better not damage my fucking wallpaper. How high up is your wallpaper? Well, the wallpaper goes all the way to the floor. Oh. So if the, if the water drops from the ceiling and then splashes off of the floor, it, it like ricochets onto the bottom part of the wall. I gotcha. Yeah. I have a bowl in there right now to catch water, and that seems to be helping the splash problem, but it's still like don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. I... My room also had a, um... So, my parents' house, uh, they have a bathroom upstairs, and I think the shower is directly, uh, above where my room currently is. Um, so, for the longest time, anytime my mom would take a shower upstairs, it would start to leak through my ceiling and drip all over my floor. Oh no. Yeah, it wasn't great. It, like, I don't think mold grew there, but 
it definitely caused the ceiling tile to basically uh, start co not collapsing, but like breaking apart. That's the good. Yeah, it ain't. So, so for uh, any time back then when she would take a shower, uh, I could just expect water to be on the floor and to have to step around that part of my room, which is directly next to my front door. Yeah, that's really bad. Yeah. We well, got second to last day. Okay. Because we already got it. Yeah, the penultimate egg. Yeah, it's <laughs> a fucking. After all the trouble I went through to get the stampler, I think that's pretty, pretty apt to get it on the first end. <laughs> yeah, it was like you've suffered enough. Yeah. No cop was like, okay, here you go. <laughs> I didn't nickname her, but that's definitely what her name is. Yeah, that, legally, that's what her name is. <laughs> Watch this last one be the shiny. <laughs> that would be great. It would be. Oh, here we go. Wow, that happened fast. Yep. Oh, Sandler, you're looking first. weird. <laughs> I think Toby yeah. has less egg steps. Uh. <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> does this count as a shiny Sandler? It's, uh, it's a little weird shape. <laughs> it absolutely does not. <laughs> okay, so I guess it's not the last Sandler. <laughs> No, not yet. We still got one more thanks, Tony P, for the <laughs> intermission. <laughs> Thank you, Tony P. Thanks. Thanks. It's not a time. <laughs> thanks. It's a time to be. <laughs> <laughs> If you, if you as Bull had an official Pokemon team, what would they be? I literally, actually yesterday, uh, set Bull's Pokemon team in Bull discussion. Oh, snap. Yeah, uh, very topical. I made that team a while ago. So it's, it's subject to change. If... Um, other more fitting Pokemon come out. The Serenade. The Serenade is probably the one that's mostly up to be swapped. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the uh, the blaze form uh, Tauros definitely is the most appropriate, I think. Yeah, but like that would just be him as a Pokemon, one to one. Yeah. If I could fuse that with how Doom, even better. Or a three-way fusion between Fire Tauros, how Doom, and Groudon. That's just okay. Bull. Yeah. Okay, but what would Bull's team be without any legendaries? I don't know. Because I feel like... I... I feel like whenever people decide, like, this is what my team would be if I had a team, they always include some legendary as if it's like... Bitch, if this were the Pokemon universe, you would never see that legendary, and if you did, you'd be running. Do you think people care? <laughs> Legendary Pokemon are cool. Lay off. <laughs> I I'm not roasting them in a bad way. It's just like 
It's the same thing as say, it's the same thing as being like, man, if I was in that team, I'd be fucking getting so many points. It's like, would you? <laughs> Why aren't then be on that team then and prove it? I mean, there's like randos in the Pokemon anime that have the Regis, and there's also <laughs> random people that have like Raikou and shit. Oh my god. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, and there's also, like, Pokemon has the multiverse thing going on, so there's a bunch of... You can have multiples of a legendary in a game. <laughs> the, the ecosystem absolutely yes. fucked. It's, it's beyond fucked. Um, uh, but yeah, I don't know what else I would put on Bull's team, because everything that's there was, like, the most aesthetically close. I could conceive. There's gotta be some. Well, maybe. Uh. Uh, Infernape. Nah. Well, it literally has fire coming off the top of your head, like you have in your shoulders. A lot of people. You should have said, um. Oh, uh, fuck. Embor. That one's closer. Yeah, true. I guess Embor would have been one to put there, and if I did, if I was not allowed to put Groudon. Because Embor also has, like, body swirlies, almost like Bulldust. Yeah. Also, Embor has such a cool shiny. <laughs> I thought you were going to say also Embor has nipple piercings. <laughs> He's got nipples, baby! No! <laughs> I don't think he does. Hey! <laughs> it would be so wild if he did. Let me go look at that boy real quick. <laughs> no, he does not. I assure you, he does not have nipples. <laughs> the only one that has nipples is Nuzleaf, and even that's circumstantial. No, it's there in every game. <laughs> it's there in every game. It would be funny, like, if, if I had, um, the hand power to, like, very quickly photoshop nipples on the M1 and be like, WHAT THE DOGS HAVE NIPPLES?! Just photoshop the piercings where the nipples would be. Yes! Okay, I... Okay, that's all Stantler. Yay! Thank you, Stantler. Oh, Christ. I'm gonna go release it, and then we'll call it a night. Yeah, yeah, send him back to the wild. Return what I stole. <laughs> I don't know if you stole it since you hatched that one. I mean, I didn't. I didn't release no call. Yeah, that one, that one you have not uh, returned what you stole, and you did steal that one. Yeah, but I did just release five of its babies, so... <laughs> <laughs> Trade off. <Good> exchange. <laughs> They're all gonna be food for the 150 plus Aerodactyls. Yeah, yeah, you really messed up the ecosystem there. It's really bad. It's like that, uh, how in canon there's like that one kid that, um, was breeding Eevees to help save its, uh, declining population. You're that, but it's Aerodactyl, and nobody wanted that to happen. Yes! Yes! <laughs> and Lapras, Lapras had that happen too. Oh yeah, Lapras had that happen. <laughs> yeah, Lapras, um, it's Pokedex entry in Sword and Shield was like, its population is thriving now thanks to conservation efforts, and I'm like, She's thriving. <laughs> I'm so happy for her. I love that for her. Alright, oh, who's on right now? Alright, Moon Bitch is on. I think she's drawing. Moon Bitch, yes. You heard me. Except the eye is missing because you can't have your name be bitch on Twitch and get away with it. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> oh, it would have been good. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I just said ow. 
Oh, I, okay. I pinched myself on my zipper. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. <laughs> Moon bitch, but the bitch is spelled B E Y E T C H. <laughs> Alright, well, there's only a handful of people left in the stream, most of which are people who are sleeping. This <laughs> Froggins and Fluffs and Cyril are all still here. <laughs> <laughs> They're enjoying the sleep aid content. Yep, I my. Beautiful ASMR voice. Enjoy your sleep. Enjoy your sleep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have the opposite of whatever ASMR is supposed to do to people. I I get so uncomfortable with I'm ASMR. The same. I'm exactly the same. It, it makes my skin crawl. Yeah, I hate it. I do like the uh, anti ASMR things. <laughs> the, well, hold on, you need oh. to link me one of those later. Oh. I don't know if I can find this one that I'm thinking of, but it, <laughs> it was a video of somebody at, a, at uh, the top of a staircase, and at the bottom of the staircase, it was like a door that goes outside, and um, they just, well, first they drop a glass jar full of uh, uh, glass marbles down the stairs, and it shatters, and it's so loud, and the mic is just going, shh. Like it's like it's not able to process these sounds, and then they keep throwing, um, like soda bottles and soda cans that have been shaken, so that at, as they fall, they explode, <laughs> and they're just going and boom, 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 throwing what <laughs> Oh my god! If I can find it, I will send it to you. That's the I, same energy as the fucking metal pipe sound effect. It is. It's exactly that. And I think I think I have it in my likes, but I can't promise that I'm gonna go look at it before I go to bed. No, or that's look for fair. It. That's fair. The two the two genders are ASMR and that. Yes. <laughs> the chaos sounds. All right. All right. I'm gonna start three. We're starting three. Oh Jesus Christ. I don't even know what they're up to right now. It, it, it says she's drawing, but I, I never, like, open the person's stream to check ahead of time because I prefer chaos. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> so watch them just be drawing full-on tits right now. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, hell yeah. But anyway... <laughs> thank y'all for coming. Uh, thank y'all for sleeping. Do your stretches, get a snack, take your meds, get hydrated. I have to do literally all of those. Um, hail Satan and good night. And dog dog. Dog dog, everyone. <laughs>